Okay, so now we'll start working with the transformation tools in this area right here. And so in order for us to transform something, we have to create something. So I'm going to just uh, grab a polygon and draw a polygon on the stage here on, on the canvas. <clears throat> and so right here is our rotation tool. Now the rotation tool allows us to set a an anchor for the rotation so that'll be the center of the rotation I've just set an anchor down here and you can see that it'll rotate around that particular item or if you want to center it in the item it's kind of centered but not really or if you want this to rotate around that point the next thing is the reflect tool and it allows us to reflect an item now it's hard to see this because the item is um, a perfect shape but uh, if I come back in here and kind of make it less perfect then you can see that reflect tool and how it allows us to reflect say on that point or over here so that's the reflect tool. The next thing is the scale tool and allows us to make something uh, scale. If I hold the shift key down, um, nothing. There we go. Now the, the scale tool may seem weird, but it's based on um, the uh, location of the uh, center anchor so as you can see I can see it getting smaller and smaller in that particular direction but if I want the anchor tool to be right here and then make it bigger notice that I'm always dragging as, as close to a diagonal as I can diagonally from that point and then you can see because if I don't do it diagonally, all of a sudden it gets weirded out here. The shear tool allows us to um, slant things. So if I click right here, and that's the anchor of the slant, and then go like this, I'm slanting it. I'm holding the shift key down uh, so that it, again, constrains to um, a 90 degree angle where I can let go of the shift key and make it go wacky. The next thing is the reshape tool and I, this is easier to show with um, a spiral tool. So if I create a spiral tool I can take this reshape tool and grab one of the points and notice that um, the original the first point is anchored and everything else kind of moves around with it. Just like if I do this, the inside anchor, the final point, stays stagnant. Or I could go like this, select this one, and it's just a unique way to distort items. You could also select, hold the shift key down and select two items and they stay um, the same distance away from each other and everything else moves and again the, the first um, point and the last point also stay static. That's the reshape tool. Next thing is the uh, width tool which is kind of cool. You can create neat little shapes. And then underneath that we have the warp tool which allows us to, I'm just clicking and pushing the, the strokes around, clicking and holding and dragging my mouse over the lines and watching them kind of distort out. The next one is the twirl tool and you can click and drag, I'm sorry, uh, just hold the mouse down and it twirls things. 
the pucker tool. The bloat tool. I'm not one to use these a lot. Actually, I'm not one to use them ever, but they're just there. Uh, the crystallize tool. As I'm kind of moving around, you can see what it does to the items. And then the wrinkle tool. Don't use those a lot. I do use the uh, the with tool every once in a while. That's that's a cool tool. Uh, the next thing, let's put another polygon down here. The next thing is the shape tool. I'm sorry, is the um, transform tool, and we can rotate or scale this way or scale this way. Uh, we can click this link and then constrain it to a 90 degree scale. Uh, the next one is perspective and we can kind of make it look like it's going off into the distance or just the distort tool which we can just distort it all over the place. The next thing is the shape builder I'm going to do on a separate video. Um, underneath the shape builder is live bucket and live paint selection tool. I don't use these very often. This is high-end illustrator work. Just ignore those for the time being. The last one is uh, their perspective grid tool. And so this allows us to create a perspective grid and then we can take our pen tool and it will help us draw um, perspective shapes. Um, if you ever click on this by accident, the way to delete it is to go back to the perspective tool, um, tool, click on it, and then come up here and then click on that little X and it'll disappear. So that is most of the distort tools and we will get into the shape builder um, in the next video.